it's uh, similar somehow to this one. It's okay. Let me do it. Okay, so I have partial F. So this is exact class. Yeah. This is exact. Usually I like to write exact. So yeah, okay. <coughs> Partial f with partial x equal this. Partial f with partial y equal to this. You can start with one of them. No problem with that. Uh, is there a reference? I think in this example there's no uh, no preference. You can do any one any one of those. Yeah, just to be sure where is the where is the problem. To be sure the answer is correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me do it. I think it's an easy one. Uh, let's start with this one. So I have f of x and y will be two x squared. I'm differentiating with respect to x. I think. With respect to x plus 3y squared x minus x cubed y plus function of y. Now, partial f with partial y will give me what? 6xy. Huh? This is 0. This is 6xy. This one minus x cubed plus g prime of y which is 6xy minus x cubed plus 2y, which is this one. So it means g prime of y, oops, g prime of y equal 2y. So it will be g at y, it will be y squared. So it will be f of x and y, I just plug the g at y, it will be 2x squared plus 3y squared x minus x cubed y plus y squared. Is that my solution? No. What will be the solution? This is equal to C. That will be my solution. That will be my solution. Oh. Let's see, let me show. Uh. It's okay. I think it's, it's, it's clear. Uh, just to be sure the answers are, are, are correct. It's for X. Yes, I think I think it's correct. Leave it. Okay, let me go to the next one. 2x plus 3y. Uh, 2x plus 3y. I think it's the easy one. This is m. This is n. Partial m with partial y. Give me 3. Partial n with partial x also give me 3, so they are equal. So I have partial f with partial x equal 2x plus 3y, and partial f with partial y equal 3x plus 2y. So this will give me an exact. Okay. So what is this? I have, let me use this one. f of x and y, it will be x squared plus 3xy plus function of y. So now partial f with partial y will be what? 3x. This is 0, huh? plus j prime of y. And that should equal 3x plus 2y. So j prime of y equal 2y. Manah g of y is equal to y squared. That means f of x and y, it will be x squared plus 3xy plus y squared. That means what is the solution? I have this f is equal to c. This is my solution. Yeah. 
Make sure I did all of this ones. This page. One. Let's Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have. The next one. This is the next plus. And then y the x plus this one. So this is m, and this is n. So bar shall m with bar shall y. Cosine x is zero. One over y. Bar shall n with bar shall x. One over y. So these are equivalent, so it's exact. Okay. So now we start with one of them. So I have partial f with partial x equal this. And partial f with partial y equals this. Yeah, it's up to you what you want to start with. Let me start with this one. So I have f of x on y. What's the integral of cosine? That will be sine x. What's the integral of lin y? It will be x lin y. Since lin y is just a constant, huh? plus function of y. So that means partial f with partial y is equal to what? Then if it cosine 0, that will be x over y plus t prime of y, which is x over y plus e to the power y. So that means what j prime at y equal e to the power y. As I said, this is checkpoint function of y only. That means g of y e to the power y. So it will be f of x and y plug the g sine x plus x in y plus e to the power y. Solution sine x plus x in y plus e to the power y is equal to c. That will be my solution. Yes. Next one. Ah, this one is not is not ready. I want to make it ready. So I have what? 3x square y plus e y dx. Usually I start with dx. This one, but I need to take it to the other side. So I need to change the sign. So I have x cubed plus x e y minus 2y dy equals 0. So now it's ready. OK. Yeah, either write it minus or write it plus and change the signs. OK, so this is M. This is N. Partial M with partial Y. It will be 3X squared plus EY. Partial N with partial X. It will be 3X squared plus EY. They are equivalent. So this is exact. So I have partial F with partial X is this one. And partial f with partial y is the other one. Let me start with this one. I have function of x and y. Think that with respect to x. So I have x cubed y plus x e to the power y. Now consider e to the y as, the fun as a constant, huh? plus function of y. So it will be partial f with partial y. It will be x cubed plus x e to the power y plus t prime at y, which is this one, minus 2y in this case. So I have g prime at y minus 2y. So I have g at y minus y squared. So it will be f of x and y. It will be x cubed y plus x a y minus y squared. Solution, this x is equal to plus. That will be my solution. Okay. Next one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now. We'll do more problems for the exact. I have two, two more problems. This one we did before. Okay. So let me do this one and they. No, the answer in front of me. Okay, so this is 
m this is n one partial m with partial y that will be one over x partial n with partial x one over x so it's exact so I have partial f with partial x is this one and partial f with partial y is this one you know what let me start with this one that implies f of x and y will be what? Let's stick to y. y cubed over 3 plus y ln x. Okay. Plus function of x. Something that respect to y. So I'm now using this. So I have partial f with partial x will be what? y over x plus h prime of x, which is x cubed plus y over x. So I have h prime of x equal y over x, ah, equal x cubed, sorry. Yeah, y over x cancel, equal x cubed. So I have function of x only, that's correct. So h of x will be x to the power 4 over 4. So it will be f of x and y, it will be y cubed over 3 plus y ln x plus x to the power 4 over 4. What is my solution? This. Equals to c. I can multiply by 12. Because I have over 3 and over 4. So that will be 4 y cubed plus 12 y ln x plus 3 x to the power 4. 12 times c, I can call it c. Call it D, call it C is it you. Okay, next one. I have X plus tan inverse Y, the X, right, is it? Yeah. Plus X plus Y over one plus Y squared dy equal to zero. This is what they want to solve. So this is M and this is N. So partial m with partial y, that will be what? I'm doing with partial y, 1 over 1 plus y squared. And it will drift with this, this is conceived. And partial n with partial x, yeah, I have x over this, so it will be 1 over 1 plus y squared. So these are coordinate. So it's exact. So I have partial f with partial x is this. And they have partial f with partial y is x over 1 plus y squared plus y over 1 plus y squared. Yeah, I will start with this one, I think, easier. So f of x and y will be x squared over 2 plus x tan inverse y plus function of y. What will be partial f partial y? We have x over 1 plus y squared. That's it, plus g prime of y, which is x over 1 plus y squared plus y. So it will be g prime at y. It will be y over 1 plus y squared. You can, yeah, so it will be g of y, integral of this, if I put 2 and half, that will be half lin 1 plus y squared. So it will be f of x and y. It's this plus x tan inverse y plus half then one plus y squared. So it will be my solution. This equal to c. Come on, multiply by two. So I have x squared plus two x than inverse y plus ln 1 plus y square is equal to c. Call it d, call it c, is empty. x squared plus 2x plus ln. OK, this one, actually this one we did before. Huh? It's y minus 1 x squared dy over dx equal this, which is this one, I think, we did before. 
similar to this one. Exactly. Also the initial condition. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I'll stop here because now we covered. Uh, we deal. We dealt with the exact. We explained the exact and how to solve it, and we did many problems about that. I think it makes it inshallah clear. Then, then after the next recording, I will do. I will do the other, uh, other, the other uh, methods. Okay, let me stop the recording. Because as I said, I don't like to have a long recording. Stop the recording. Thank you.